we at United Nations are mobilizing to tackle sexual exploitation and abuse in our ranks and ensure that the rights and dignity of victims are front and center. In the past year, dozens of world leaders have joined my circle of leadership to prevent sexual exploitation and abuse in UN operations. And nearly 100 countries have signed voluntary compacts with the UN to tackle the challenge. I've appointed a UN victims' rights advocate and a special coordinator to align our efforts across the system. We have stepped up training for civilian, military, and police personnel, improved and harmonized investigations, strengthened personnel screening, and make sure that staff who are guilty of sexual exploitation and abuse can never find employment in another part of the system. We are improving links with communities and civil society organizations so that victims and survivors know how to respond reporting these crimes and finding support. And we must continue working to end impunity and ensure justice. The era of silence and taboos is over. Everyone, including our own staff, must feel confident to report allegations of abuses. Above all, we must protect those we are mandated to serve, upholding the principles and values of the UN Charter and the Universal Declaration of Human Rights.